It has been way too long since we've done an Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Let's change that. All right, guys, I got a super simple one for you today. It's mainly just shapes. So let's go ahead and let's knock this out. First, I'm going to start by grabbing the rectangle. I'm just going to draw this out. I've already got it yellow, which is perfect because we're starting with the top of the Lego man's head. It's not going to be a perfect square, so I don't need to worry about hitting shift. And I'm going to roll it just a little bit just to get a little bit more of that roundness going. We'll be adjusting a lot of this as we go, so don't worry about getting it perfect right from the get-go. I'm going to click this duplicate button, and I'm going to knock this down a little bit. I'm going to put this at the top, and we're going to throw this behind. I'm going to adjust this roundness just a touch too. And I think it's still a little bit too big, so let's make that a little bit smaller. So you should start seeing already where we're going with this. I'm going to duplicate this again. This is kind of going to be what we do a lot, is just duplicate a lot of these shapes. It's kind of how illustration works, so just going to keep duplicating a lot of these. Now, as you see, when I shrunk that down a little bit, I lost the stroke size. So I'm going to come over here to my stroke tool, and I'm just going to adjust the thickness of this. Something like that. I think that's good. Something, yeah. Maybe let's knock this down just a little bit because I want to make sure we can fit his whole body in here. That's kind of the goal. So what I want to do next is I want to get his torso. So again, we're going to grab another rectangle and we're just going to draw this out. Let's change the color on this though because I don't need a bunch of yellow cubes. Let's do something like red. Kind of keep it primary colors. I think that's like what I think of when I think of Lego. So something like that. Now I'm going to grab my direct selection tool. So that's right below the actual selection. Uh, and I'm going to grab the corners. Now, this way is not actually pretty precise. Uh, I don't typically recommend you doing it this way, but for time, I'm just going to grab these corners and I'm going to pull them in. The reason I recommend you not doing it like this is because it's not perfectly symmetrical. And that's kind of the thing I like to do when I make these is make sure they're nice and symmetrical. But you kind of get the point here. Bring this up just a touch again. And again, we're going to roll these corners just a little bit. We don't want super sharp edges. I just feel like that makes the illustration look unpolished. Move that head down a little bit. Perfect. And so what's cool about design is I have, what, four shapes here, and you can already start seeing where we're going with this, which I think is really cool. The more I look at this, the more I think this needs to go down a little bit. We're just going to pull this down just a touch. And now we can roll this back. Now I just want to make sure everything's centered, so I'll come over here to my line tool. Center that up, and everything's still a little bit too big, so we'll change that. Maybe a little bit smaller. Again, I want to make sure everything's fitting in the frame. So now let's start getting his pants, I guess, what you could call them. We're going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw this out on the bottom. Now let's throw this behind. Let's keep it on top for now. Let's do blue. Pants are usually blue, right? Again, we're sticking with like those primary colors. That's kind of the goal here. And again, just like we do with everything else, I'm going to roll this just a little bit. I don't want a bunch of hard edges. And I'm going to duplicate this. I told you a lot of duplicating. I'm going to make it go down just a little bit. I want this part to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to throw this behind. I'm going to duplicate this shape. Move this in to, from the left and then move this in from the right. About right here. I'm going to make sure everything's aligned. Again, this is a Lego. He's really symmetrical. So I just want to make sure everything's nice and symmetrical. Great. So this is the little piece that kind of makes his legs walk, right? I'm going to bring this in just a little bit more. Make sure we're aligned. Make sure our stroke's the same. Now I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And I'm going to grab my rectangle. Again, I'm du duplicating. You really don't have to duplicate. You could go and just grab a new shape. But I like to duplicate, just kind of a habit, I guess. I'm going to send this backwards. So the more I'm looking at this, I realize this piece needs to be a little bit wider. So we'll do that. Let's grab everything, shrink it just a little bit, because I think the leg needs to be a little bit longer. Maybe something like that. Great. So now I'm going to take this leg, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm just going to throw it over here to the right. All right, so we're really getting somewhere. Now we need a little feet, right? So I'm going to duplicate this shape again. You guys are going to be tired of me saying duplicate, but... That's just how it goes. We just duplicate. That's how we illustrate. And we're just going to knock that out like that. Again, duplicating, throwing it over here, bringing it on top. And I want to make sure all my strokes are the same. I've been keeping them at like eight. Feel free to play with that though. Great. So now we got two little legs right here. The more I look at it, I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. Maybe go up just a touch. Because I want the shirt to go on top of it. Kind of get that overlapping effect. I think that just looks better. All right, so this part I'm going to ask you guys to draw. But just one time. All we got to do is draw just one time. I'm going to grab my pencil tool. And I'm just going to do a nice little U shape like this. Maybe do another one. Hold on. 
something like that. Perfect. I want to turn my fill off. I just want it to be a stroke. And I'm going to upgrade this to like 40, maybe like 46. I don't know, maybe like 44, something like that. That looks good. Move it out a little, just a little bit. And here's the magic. I'm going to go to object, create stroke outline, make compound path. Sweet. So what that does is that just turns it into a shape for us, which is great because it's going to be the arm. So now I can actually add a stroke to it, which is great. And then I can do the same fill color as the shirt. And then I can just throw this backwards. All right, so now I need to add the little hand, right? It's like a little claw. So I'm gonna do the uh, rectangle again. So just a little rectangle. Obviously, it's gonna be the same color as the head. And then we're gonna do an ellipse or circle, right? So I'm gonna grab that. And here's where the cool thing is gonna happen. I'm gonna duplicate this, knock it down just a little bit. Gotta make that little claw. They have like a little claw hand, right? Let me go in a little bit, something like that. Make sure they're aligned. I think they are, but I just want to double check. And then I'm going to go to my shape builder, minus front, convert the path. Awesome. And now I need to make it a little bit flat because I don't have these sharp edges, right? So something like that. Grab both these shapes, shape builder again, minus front, convert the path. So now we combine these two. And you should be understanding what's going on here. Should start making sense. Then I can group them, make this a little smaller, make sure it's the right size. Yeah, I think that's good. Throw that backwards. So I think this needs to be a little thicker, the wrist. So let's make that a little bit thicker, something like that. Let me see if I can round these just a little bit. Oh yeah. They're a little harsh right now. So now it looks like he's kind of waving, right? So here's the great part about what we just did. I can take this and I can duplicate it, group it, I'm going to go into my line tool, flip, flip. And now we have this one over here. Super simple. All right, so I think he needs a face, right? He looks he looks sad. Actually, he doesn't look like anything because he has no face. So again, we'll come over here to the shape tools and we'll do a little rectangle. Wait, ellipse. What is wrong with me? We'll do a circle and we'll do black. We don't need a stroke on this, so turn that off. Perfect, let's duplicate. Amazing. Feels a little big, so we'll make that a little smaller. All right, now let's make his smiley mouth. So we'll grab the ellipse tool, change that to a stroke. Maybe we'll do like 16, 16 stroke. Now we want to create a stroke outline, release compound path. All right, so now I can take a rectangle tool, put this about like, you know, maybe like about right here. Grab both of these, go to my shape builder, minus front, convert to path. Perfect. Let's round these edges because he wants to be soft and smiling, right? And we can throw this back over here. There's a ton of different ways we could do the smile, but this way it works. And look at that. Perfectly happy Lego man. Amazing. All right, it's looking like a Lego man. Now I'm kind of tired of looking at this blank background. So let's add something different in the background. So I'm going to go to my layers panel and I'll do a new layer, throw that backwards. And I'm just going to use a rectangle. So start at the top left corner. And we'll drag it all the way to the bottom right, just like so. Perfect. Now that's a little bit harsh. I don't think we need that blue. And I definitely don't need a stroke. So let's turn that off. And then let's change this to maybe like a, I don't know. He could be the same color as like his, yeah, I think that's kind of fun. That kind of says Lego to me, right? Sure. Let's, let's run with that for now. So I'm going to lock this layer. Great. Let's grab this guy. Now what I want to do is the actually, this is going to be the best part of the whole illustration. I'm going to start adding the highlights and the shadows. So he's full plastic. So we're going to have a lot of opportunity to do uh, highlights. So let's start with the highlights. I'm going to come over here and do a new layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these pieces. So I'm going to copy the, his body. We'll come to the scissors. We'll copy this. Come back to my highlights later layer and we're going to paste it. Now we're going to turn off the stroke and I'm going to change this to white. Just like so, grab my eraser tool and watch. We're just going to erase from the top left to the bottom right. I don't need this bottom left section, so we can delete that. Make this go down just a little bit. So like maybe like 80. We want it to be pretty plasticky, so like we'll stick around like 70 for now. And so we got this nice little highlight right here. But we do have a problem. We have this going above our stroke. So let's go back over to the scissors, paste again. But this time, I'm going to turn the fill off, so that'll replace the stroke on top, which is perfect. 
So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to do that for a lot of these different sections. So I'm going to come to my rectangle tool over here. I'm going to change this to white. And I'm just going to start doing rectangles where I think the, the highlights will be. Let's put this back to 100 because I'm going to do all of these at the same time when it comes to opacity. I'm going to grab my pencil here. You, there's a bunch of different ways you could do this highlight as well, but I'm just going to draw it out. Something like that. Turn that into a stroke. Maybe rotate this just a little bit. Increase it just a touch. I'm going to round those corners. So go up to my properties. Do the little round option here. Oh, yeah. I might even cut this a little bit. So I'll grab my eraser. Just do a little cut like that. That's a little big. Let's drop that down just a touch. Perfect. Love that. Do the same thing right here. Come over here. Add another little. Lots of highlights. Like I said, he's plastic. We want this to really show that he's shiny. Maybe add one right here on his belt. All right, so we've got all kinds of highlights here. So now I can grab this whole highlight layer, and then I can come to my opacity. And I can just knock this down a little bit. So maybe we'll do it like 64. What I don't like is that this face right here is actually being covered by the highlight. So I'm going to cut that actually. Cut it. I'm going to do a new layer. Put it over the highlight layer. And I'm just going to paste it. So now I'm going to do the same thing but for shadows. So we're going to do a new layer. And anywhere I think a shadow might appear, I'm just going to add some dark spots. All right, so again, I'll grab that whole layer, select everything, and I can drop the opacity. And that'll give us nice little shadows, maybe like 40%. Oh, yeah. What's really fun about this is I can come and make a new layer. I'm all about making those layers, of you, if you haven't noticed yet. And we can really start, like, customizing it. So say, like, I wanted some type of logo on the shirt. You can do it super easy, just like this, right? We can change the shirt color, right? We could do, like, a green one. It's just there's so many different possibilities we can do. If we want to get real crazy, we can even maybe add some hair, right? So let's do the pencil tool, and let's maybe do, like, a brown color. Maybe do, like, a little... And then we do a little one of these. And then obviously we could add highlights and shadows, make that look plastic. But but honestly, I mean, it's endless of what you can do. I am going to do one thing. I'm going to come over here to my photos and I'm going to import this logo. Just have one final touch. Throw this backwards just a touch. Oh, yeah. Maybe drop the opacity to like 94. Now it looks legit. Now, obviously, we could do a bunch of different things, but overall... Super easy to make this cool little Lego guy. I'd love to see you guys make your own original ones. Maybe add some hair, do different colors, add some objects. If you do end up making your own Lego man, I'd love to see it. Make sure to tag me. Well, guys, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, you already know what to do. Until the next one, peace.